Hello my friends, I'm going to do a review on a simplified fermentation method. It's supposed to be easier and uh, not as sloppy. And I do a lot of fermentation uh, with vegetables and I have a batch already mixed up so you don't have to sit through me doing that. If you don't remember uh, what you mix uh, after you cut your vegetables up, I weigh my vegetables because I have a scale and you add three tablespoons of salt for every five pounds of vegetables. Um, and medium sized cabbage head, this is basically a sauerkraut uh, recipe with carrots and onions in it, but uh, a medium sized head of cabbage weighs about two and a half pounds. So you would use one and a half tablespoons of salt and you don't want iodized salt. I always use uh, sea salt or Himalayan salt. Okay, what I had purchased, these are fermentation lids. And uh, you can see here the shape of them. And I haven't opened them yet. They are a type of a rubber. I think they're like a silicone rubber. And this little bump on the top, if you look closely, at that there is a slit inside there and what that will do when these are sealed on the lid that will allow the gases to escape which is carbon dioxide and it will seal air or oxygen from getting into the mix and the other thing that I purchased is a set of glass weights and what you do with these is you set this on top of your uh, fermenting vegetables and this will keep anything from floating. You don't want oxygen to be touching your uh, fermentation vegetables and this should weight it down so it uh, won't touch. I already cleaned my uh, equipment. I washed the jars. I have, this is what I use for pushing down my rolling pin, pushing down the vegetables into the jar. So I'm gonna pack these, uh, this vegetable, and put the set together. So uh, this has uh, already been mixed. Uh, it generated a lot of liquids in the bottom and we want to pack as much as we can into the jar. And you don't have to be using a rolling pin or anything, but it does help compress. I'm doing this on my cutting board. The table's clean, but the cutting board it's probably cleaner. And as you're doing this, you can see the liquid keep pushing up to the top. Okay, after I cleaned the glass and the fermentation lock, I have this already packed, and this is about five eighths to three quarter of an inch uh, in thickness, and. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap, maybe like uh, if you hold it to one side, it'll leave about an eighth of an inch gap around it. Now, you don't want to have any of the vegetables floating on the surface. That could possibly cause mold to grow. So I peeled some of the outer leaves off of the cabbage. And what I'm going to do is take this and use it like a cookie cutter. And I'll hold this and kind of roll it. And right there, I cut a little disc. This, this piece of cabbage, this will fit inside. And I can push this down. Okay, liquid is coming up over top of it. And now that will hold any small pieces from floating. Okay, then 
we put on the fermentation lock, that's an air lock, and we just put the ring on. Okay, right there, this is what we're going to test. Now, at about three days, I'm going to open it up and check. I'll be watching every day to see how it's uh, fermenting and how this is working. Let me get a close look here. You can see here the, the head space. Uh, you're looking at the glass inside. And of course, that leaf of cabbage that I put on top. Let me fill the rest of them and we'll check uh, every day. Usually I let it go about five days and uh, once it's done then I'll refrigerate it. This is day one and you can see here this is my control and these are loosely fit I just loosen them, breaks the uh, seal, and allows the pressure to escape. You can see it's wet there. If you look at these, you can see here they're crowned. You can see some moisture. And you can see there's pressure buildup. And the liquid expanded because it's holding CO2. And there's a little bit of moisture on all the, the lids. The paper towel I have it setting on is soaking wet. So it's been leaking liquid from, the, from day one. This is day two. And my control, I'm still burping. And these, you could see the pressure build up. And they also are leaking. I would assume that if you would have the level much lower, uh, you wouldn't maybe have the liquids pushing out. However, I want to have a full jar when I'm done. So I don't think it's a big deal that it leaks. It's just that these don't have to be burped. And if, as long as you have it in a container, you're controlling the mess. This is day three, and you can see I'm still burping these, and the liquid is pushing out and collecting in the bowls. And I drained what was in the bowls, and uh, just to so that it was clean and not st getting sticky. It's been a week now, and the. Uh, Leaking or overflow had quit at uh, day three. You can see here the caps are concave, meaning there's a negative pressure in there and it is holding. And this one I had opened and tasted. And you can see the caps that was in there. And the liquid pushed enough out and then when it lost the CO2, it collapsed and went below the, the level. Okay, now let's look at these. They held the liquid, so that's a good thing. Very crunchy.
both still very crunchy no difference in taste let's check some of the others now these did leak also but the level is still up they all held and this one I had not opened and it's dry near the top okay my evaluation of these uh, new lids or the fermentation locks with the uh, glass weights uh, they work very well uh, it maintained a level in there uh, that kept it wet now I filled mine all the way up close to the top within a quarter of an inch and a lot of people when they use those weights and the silicone fermentation caps they don't fill their bottles all the way they only fill them maybe uh, three quarter up that way when the liquid expands you don't have any leaking out I would rather have a full jar when I'm done now these maintain enough liquid I'm going to use plastic caps on these now these will go in the refrigerator and the ones that you burp the first three days uh, you'll have a lot of liquids coming out and uh, after three days what I would recommend is opening the lid and adding salt brine and keep the top up uh, the cut leaves the, the uh, circular disc the cabbage leaf uh, it works very good keeping the small chunks of food or vegetables down below that top piece and I usually just discard the top uh, leaf and uh, the rest is fine so these are done thanks for watching my friends bye bye